Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher and this is Sweetwater's iOS Update. This time on the update, I've got a preamp that will let you use any of your microphones with your iOS device, as well as some apps that will put that preamp to work, and I've got news on a new iPad as well. Let's get started. This is the iRig Pre from IK Multimedia. Now the iRig Pre is a preamp that will accept any microphone input. It connects to the input-output jack on your iOS device. On the side here we've got a gain control. We also have a switch that turns the iRig Pre on and off and also turns 48 volt phantom power on if you're using a condenser mic. We've got a headphone output jack that in this case I've got routed to my studio monitors and that's it. Everything else is right inside the iRig Pre and it's all controlled from whatever app you're using inside your iOS device. Here I've got a Shure Beta 58 hooked up. Any microphone that has an XLR connection can plug right into the iRig Pre and the input is routed right into whatever app you're using to make your recordings. One app you might want to check out with your iRig Pre is iRig Recorder from IK Multimedia. Now this is a basic recording app. It allows you to input your microphone and record a track. To make a recording with iRig Recorder, just turn on your iRig Pre. Get your levels set. You do that in the setup menu here. We've got uh, meters there and then we can use our gain control on the side of the iRig Pre. You can see our input and our outputs are set there. We also have level control inside the app. You can turn latency so that it's set for ultra low latency for no delay or lower latency if you're not that concerned about the delay. You can also use the built-in microphone. In this case though, we're using the iRig Pre, so we'll switch back to the recordings page. Now all we have to do, click the record button and we're recording into iRig Recorder. One, two, three, four, five, six. Once we have our recording made, we can play that back. Click the record button and we're recording into iRig Recorder. One, two, three, four. You can loop the recording, you can cut out different sections of it, you can trim the beginning and the end. You can also process it in a variety of ways. You can optimize the volume, you can add EQ, you can smooth things out a little bit, you can slow things down, you can pitch shift up and down. So some processing you can apply as well. Once you have the recording finished, you can export it. So you can email it to yourself, you can send it to iTunes, you can up upload it to an FTP site or to SoundCloud so you can get that recording out and use it in your studio or for other applications that you might have. Another app that works great with iRig Pre is Vocalive, also from IK Multimedia. Vocalive comes with a variety of presets built into it, and those are categorized over here into lead effects, which would be things like the classic lead sounds that we hear with delays and reverbs. Uh, there are also harmony effects for doing pitch shifting type effects, creating choral effects, extreme effects, which give us robot voices, those types of things, morphing, which changes one sound into another sound, and then there are also special effects settings that let you do some kind of crazy things with your vocal sounds. Let's listen to a few presets so you can get an idea of what you can do with the effects that are built into Vocalive. In this case, I'm going to be using a Shure SM27 condenser microphone, so we'll turn on the phantom power that's built into the iRig Pre. Here's a classic chain of vocal effects. We've got a compressor, a parametric EQ, and a reverb. Test. One, two, three. A classic delay setting, which combines a compressor, a reverb, and a delay. Test. 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 We also can shift over to some harmony effects. Octave down. Test. Test. One, One, two, two three, three, four. Upper third and seventh. Test. Test. One, two. Now the other thing you can do is there's a demo built into this, so you can listen to all the effects using a pre-recorded track. We'll just open that up, play the demo. On a lazy summer day, where soft winds blow all the fears away, then the dust But Vocalive is useful for more than just creating effects that you can either use in your studio or take on stage. It also has an 8-track recorder built in. So when you open this up, it actually looks reminiscent of an old ADAT recorder. There's a space up here that looks sort of like what you would have had with the uh, SVHS tape. But we've got a very straight-ahead 8-track recording system here. You arm your track, mute and solo buttons, we've got a pan control, we've got a volume control, and then you can choose whether the Vocalive effects are being applied to whatever track it is that you're recording. Down at the bottom here, we've got a list of favorites, so you can scroll through those if you have favorite effects you want to store into those presets and call those up quickly. We can loop tracks. We've got a metronome built in. We also have two sends per channel, and we've also got master effects. So when you're done, you can do EQing on the overall sound that you have set up there, as well as apply other effects like chorus, reverb, and delay to the overall master mix. Vocalive gives you everything you need, whether you want to take your iOS device on stage and use it for effects with your vocals, or if you want to use it as a full-on recorder in your studio. Now when you're finished with your song, you can export out. We've got a variety of options there. 
You can use file sharing, which loads it into iTunes. You can email it to yourself. You can load it to an FTP site or send it to SoundCloud. As musicians working with iOS devices, we can burn up a lot of memory really quickly as we're making our recordings. Now, one solution to that is to offload your tracks onto a computer or some other storage device. But if you want to keep all those tracks on board, as well as have video files and music tracks, things you can play in your music player, then you need maximum memory on board, and that's where the new iPad with 128 gigabytes comes in. It has actually twice the memory of the earlier models, so there's plenty of room there for all the media you might want to store. I hope you've enjoyed this installment of Sweetwater's iOS Update. Be sure to tune in next time. We'll have more hardware, more apps, and more tips for making music with your iOS devices. I'm Mitch Gallagher. <laughs>